my dear friends, my name is Sonne and welcome back to another video. Today we're sitting on my floor. Different setting for once, I guess. Um, as you may know, in a few weeks I'll be traveling to Japan for a month, which is super exciting of course. But I need to pick what I'm gonna wear over there. The thing is, Japan has a very, very different climate from where I live, which is in the Netherlands. And um, I need to pick my wardrobe according to the climate that I'll be traveling towards, you know? So I've been thinking a lot <laughs> about what I'm gonna wear in Japan. And I just really wanna sit down and pick everything out. So I, you know, have everything packed and ready to go. And I'm just, I, I just, I know what to grab, basically. So I thought it would be fun today to just go through my wardrobe, see what I have that I can bring and basically pick out my Japan wardrobe together and then just see what options I have available, what kind of looks I can create with that and what I'll probably be wearing in Japan. So let's get working on my Japan wardrobe. I'm starting off pretty easy actually. I've been making it myself a bit easy because the thing is the climates are so different between the two countries that my wardrobe is really not made for the Japanese summer climate. If you don't know, um, in Japan it will be extremely warm and extremely humid, so you'll be sweating a lot. You need very, very airy and light clothing that will take up your sweat quite a bit uh, and the, the moisture on your skin, basically. So that's the clothing that I want to wear, but also I don't have any clothing like that because the Dutch climate is nothing like it. Yeah, the thing is, my wardrobe isn't made for that because the days that it's extremely warm here in the Netherlands, it's really during the height of summer when uh, I don't have any work or uni or whatever and I'll just stay indoors most of the day or in the shade and I don't really do anything. I have never built my wardrobe around hot weather because it's just like six days out of the year here. Um, so I decided, usually I don't do this, usually for my trips I don't buy new clothing because um, I think it's overkill. The clothing that I have is great. I can usually go with everything that I wear. But that's also because I usually travel within Europe and not that far away from the Netherlands. So the climate is not that different. But for this time, I was like, it's gonna be so different over there. I wanna be as comfy as possible. So I'm gonna invest in some new clothing um, that is a lot more hairy and breathable and more uh, natural fibers than the stuff that I have now because lots of the things that I currently have is synthetic fibers. All that to say, I've been shopping. <laughs> I got a few different things, so I'm gonna take this as basically the base for my wardrobe and then I'm gonna add some stuff to this and then build around that basically. So let's go over the things that I bought. First of all, I got a couple shorts because the only shorts that I have are like thick denim shorts, which are fine for here, but I don't think it's gonna be nice over there. So I wanted shorts that were a bit more like light and, and airy and whatever. So first of all, I got a pair of shorts in soft pastel shades from the Primark. These were 14 euros and they have like a little tie at the front and these are 100% cotton. So it's gonna be really, really lovely when it's warm. So this is just a really comfy pair of shorts with cute pastel colors, you know, the way I like it. So that's one. Then I bought another pair of shorts. Um, these are from H&M and this is a linen blend. So I'm pretty sure this is like half linen, half cotton. Let me check. No, it's half viscose, half linen. So it's not completely like linen or cotton, but it's still an extremely thin, breathable, airy fabric. So I think it will be fine. And this is just really, really cute. And they're high-waisted, very colorful, bright and floral shorts. I think they're adorable and they go really well with everything else that I got. Then I got two linen blouses from the H&M. One that's yellow. These are just basic linen shirts with long sleeves. So I'm not gonna unfold them for you. But we have this like yellowish, which goes really well with this short and then we have white and i just wanted to get some nice linen shirts that i can throw over anything that i'm wearing like if i'm wearing just a top like this and uh, i want to cover myself from the sun a tiny bit when the sun is really bright or i'm going into like a temple or something and i want i, I want to feel like i'm a bit more respectful i can 
just throw on one of those blouses and it'll be fine. You see the moth too, right? <laughs> Got it. I just want to be able to throw on a nice uh, breathable blouse when I want to cover my shoulders up a tiny bit basically. So I thought these colors would work best. White will go on literally anything. And another nice light color that isn't too warm, but that is a bit more colorful and a bit more in my style. So I thought these two would be great. Then I have one more short, which isn't like linen or anything, but these are these adorable high-waisted shorts from c and Look at the little bleach flowers. They're just so cute. Uh, these are really comfy and it's denim, but th these shorts are definitely a lot thinner than the denim shorts that I do have. So... I think this would be a lot more appropriate and maybe on days when it's not like dying heat <laughs> I can wear this I guess and then we have um, a fun jumpsuit which my mom bought me from the thrift store this is from the brand T-E-M-T -E and it's just a really cute dark blue yeah, a jumpsuit with a white leg. So when I have my legs like close together, it almost looks like I'm wearing a dress. And then it just has this elastic at the waist. So it cinches the waist a tiny bit. It's just really cute. I think this would be great to have something that covers my legs sometimes. I can throw one of those blouses on top. I can dress it up a tiny bit more if we're going out for dinner or something. So I think that would be great. And then we have two dresses. One I got at the Primark, which is actually a nightgown, <laughs> but I thought it would be great because it's really light and airy. It is synthetic fibers, but it's still like a really light weight fabric, so I thought it would still be great. Um, and it has like an open back moment, and I think it's really cute. So this is also going to be really nice for when I'm going out for dinner or something and I want to dress up a tiny bit. And then I have another cute dress. I think this one is also fully cotton uh, and it's just this really really cute dress it's a short dress not too short i think it's a really comfortable length it has like a little belt with it and i think it looks absolutely adorable and this is just gonna be really nice to wear anywhere and i can put like a jacket on top or whatever so that's basically all the stuff that i got new um and i am just gonna build my wardrobe around this so <laughs> i don't think i really need to add like a lot more dresses because I already have two so I just I'm just gonna check if I have any lightweight kind of like cotton dresses in my wardrobe maybe I'll bring one of those but I don't want to bring too much the thing is we're going for five weeks but we'll have washing machines available to us a lot of the times throughout the trip so I really don't want to bring that much I want to bring like maybe stuff for like two weeks max and then I'll be able to wash everything and just wear it again. So, And I'll be doing shopping over there as well. So I don't really need to bring a lot. Which just also leaves more suitcase space to buy souvenirs. So, <laughs> so what I want to do, I have three shorts um, and three full body things basically. I also want to add a skirt. But this is basically already, if you add tops, six outfits. Like, if I add more tops, like, sh shorts and such can be definitely b be worn, like, once, like, two days. But just refresh your top. You can make, like, nine, ten outfits, I guess. Let's first go just basic tops. And a skirt. I wanted to bring this skirt. Wait. This one. I wanted to bring this skirt. Because this is, like, a midi skirt. This is the only midi skirt that I have. And I really like the length of it. And I feel like it would be really nice and comfortable over there. So... I'm just gonna bring this one. This one is definitely not cotton, I think. But I mainly wanna focus on like crop tops like this because I think these are extremely comfortable. Um, I only basically wear high-waisted stuff, so crop tops like this can go with anything. And I think they're nice and thin and nice for the warm weather. So I wanna focus on crop tops like this, which I have a bunch of, so it'll be no problem, which is this pile. And I have like a few here that I'm definitely grabbing. And then I have a bunch that I just want to go through and see like what is the fabric and whatever. Is it going to be nice for the warm weather or not? I want to try and get like lighter colors, but I think most of my crop tops are pretty dark. Oh, yeah, I wanted to bring one of these, I think. This one. Okay, so this one is great. It doesn't say what it's made of, but it's like 
I think the inside is just cotton and then the outside is like knitted but I like tops like this because I don't have to wear a bra with it which I which I think is great when it's really warm out so I think I'll bring this one just a cute halter top and it's like a pale pink color I think that would go great with this skirt first of all I think it works well enough on most of the stuff that I have so that one then I want to bring this one because this one is just my favorite <laughs> This is definitely not cotton, but it's just a really cute pastel color. And I think it would go great with the shorts, especially that yellow short with the flowers. I think that would look nice. And the jean short. And then I have a basic white top, which is fully cotton. So this one is going to be really nice. This one is from Bershka. Basic white top. And this is going to be nice on basically anything. Then I have some greens and I'm not sure about the colors yet, actually. Because I like these, but I don't think they go very well with the colorful shorts that I'm bringing. This, ah, this could work. It's not too bad, actually. I do prefer this one. This one is a tiny bit brighter green. I think it works a bit better. But I might bring both of them. This is not my favorite combo. I feel like this one is maybe going to be the hardest to get tops for. <laughs> Just white, maybe. Anything works with the jeans anyway, so that's fine. We got basic black, which I'm also just bringing. It's the same as this one. I think this might work, actually. I think I might bring this one as well. So I think it maybe matches with this short. Okay, I think that's most of my regular crop tops. I'm just gonna try and open this door. Because I have a lot more stuff over here. I have some shirts and whatever. Let me just get that over there. I need to go to my through my t-shirt pile this, these are all my t-shirts <laughs> i want to bring a few that are like fully cotton but that are a bit thin i'm pretty sure most of the t-shirts i have are fully cotton but like this one which is cute but i think this is gonna be so warm it's really thick so i don't think i'll wear this one <laughs> this one maybe <laughs> i'm gonna look like the absolute worst tourist with this one <laughs> it says keep calm and eat ramen I think I'm gonna be laughed at if I wear that in Japan. Like for here, I like it, but if I wear that in Japan, I don't know. I will be like the worst. It's just like wearing the I love New York t-shirts in New York, you know what I mean? Okay, then we do have this one, which I think is cute. But I think this one might look cute with this short. I don't know. I find this one to be a tiny bit difficult because of the texture. Because it also has texture to it and that gives it like a certain vibe. Maybe. Maybe. I'll put this one on the maybe pile. So I think I should go for mainly like white stuff because it matches the rest of the wardrobe best. So I have a couple white t-shirts. I have this one with NASA on it. This is 100% cotton, so that is nice. There's a pen mark on it though. <laughs> this is also a maybe pile. We can put the rest back. So I have like a maybe pile of t-shirts. Let me grab my blouses. These are my babies. What I've been thinking about with the uh, tops, I'm also bringing this one. This one is a cute color that will go with a lot of things. I also just have generic white longer tops that aren't crop tops, basically. And also, oh, I have a nice green one. Wait, I need to find that one. That one will work very well with that short. This one, this color. Probably look cute. Yeah, with that one. Look, it matches the green in there. That's nice. Okay. We'll bring that one. Okay, back to blouses. Because um, I have a lot of patterned blouses. That's why I wanted to add these two to my collection. Because um, these you can throw on everything. And the patterned blouses that I have, I don't think you can. Dead blouses is what I call them. Let's not bring a worn flannel. I don't think that is. I will be also bringing like just a bit of a warmer sweater and jeans. Just for... When the days are maybe a bit cooler, like if you just have a random cold day. The light stuff I'll take out, which is a maybe. I'm trying to keep the amount of pattern <laughs> a bit low. <laughs> but maybe we have like a white one, maybe this one. I'm also just trying to pick out the ones that are nice cotton fabric or something. Because I have a lot of synthetic ones. So maybe this one. This one is nice. It is a bit darker, so I don't know yet. But that one feels like it's like nice cotton and airy. I think maybe these look. It has like little flowers embroidered on it. And also little bees. 
it has a linen look to it so I don't know if it is linen I don't think there is a label in it anymore I also find this at the thrift store anyway I think this will be fine so I'll bring that one I think and then I also have this one which is just nice and thin print I don't know about this one yet I'll put it on the maybe pile I'm creating like a full maybe pile in my bed right now I think I will go through dresses to see if there's anything like that's a nice fabric that I feel like I can wear dresses and skirts because those are the same piles in my closet this is one pile this is a second pile and then we also have two more piles <laughs> I have a lot of skirts and dresses can you tell um I'll go through these first I love 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 this one but I don't think I'll bring this since it's just so synthetic but that will cling to my skin really annoying me same with this one which is also one of my absolute favorites this is a beautiful dress i love this so much okay then we have skirts i don't think this one the only one I'm, I'm considering bringing is this one it's it's like really thick and long so i don't know if that's like nice to bring in my suitcase it's also not cotton it's actually viscose it does fit the rest of the wardrobe i guess i'll put it on the maybe pile because i don't know if i need extra skirts or dresses because I already have quite a few no I think I'll save most of them for later during the summer just like this one I am gonna bring this to Italy and frolic around with it around Lake Como I'm thinking of bringing this little sweater for when it's colder fits with the pastel vibes we're going for I guess so most of these are quite short um, which I don't think is going to be very comfortable running around in just doing all the walks we're going to do in Japan so I don't think I will be wearing any of these no I think I'll keep it this way with the, the skirts I'm bringing this top I think maybe I don't know about the top yet actually I do need to bring one pair of jeans um, but I don't know which one I kind of want to grab like the the pair of jeans that is like a bit thinner and lighter because all my favorite jeans are kind of a bit on the thicker side actually i think it's between either these because these are my favorite jeans like the patchwork white leg jeans they're really cool they're my favorite and then i just have skinny light wash jeans no i think i'm going for my favorite jeans because i want to look cool now we can close this door again I think we've gone through everything and now I need to make choices also as a jacket I'll be bringing my denim jacket for when it's a bit colder outside I'll bring this one I think it works best with everything that I'm bringing so we have long jeans and a sweater if we're somewhere where it's a bit colder which I don't think will be but you never know and you also don't know how cold it'll be during the night so just in case then we have three shorts and a skirt a jumpsuit and two dresses so now we need tops and we have one two three four five six i'm bringing this one as well six seven eight tops like, that should be fine that's for like a whole week and then you also have the dresses and then I have the two blouses and then I kind of want to bring a pattern blouse because that's just my vibe so the only one I'm thinking of get taking is this one and I kind of want like a short sleeve one actually and then I'll bring a basic t-shirt as well and then I'll have my jacket so then I'll already have like enough outfits for one or two weeks I think I might like instead of bringing one of these dark green tops just bring a regular white top like this one just a basic white top and i have another black top yes let's do that okay so i just have a bunch of tops <laughs> so i think that should be fine i think this is my no pile eventually okay so i thought i'd show you the shoes that i'm bringing first of all i'm bringing my trusted nikes uh since they just literally go with everything and I need something very, very sturdy for my very, very terrible feet. And then on days that we don't 
walk a lot and I want something a bit more open or whatever, I have these very, very comfy sandals in white that I feel like just go with everything. These are from Aldi, by the way. They're great. They're really, really comfy. So yeah, these go with every other look and make everything look a bit more, a little bit more sophisticated. I really want to bring the least amount possible in my suitcase. So I don't know if I'll bring these yet, but I maybe want to bring a pair of heels just so I have something nice when we go out for like a nice dinner. I can wear these with the dresses, but I'm not too sure yet if I'll bring them because I'll basically bring them just to wear with this dress. I don't know if that's needed. We'll see. I don't know about that yet, but I think we have my wardrobe figured out. Let's go over some outfits that I can create with this. My cool, my cool pants. These are my cool pants. I like these. Look at them with a nice comfy sweater in case there's some sort of cold day. Uh, so we have one cold weather outfit and then we have a lot of hot weather outfits focused around light fabrics and whatever. So first of all we have basic black tops and basic white tops which I think are very important because they literally go with everything. And I think the black tops are based basically to combine with this comfy skirt. But you can also definitely combine it with white or something. Or with this one. And then I can do this short with this colorful top. Or either one of the white tops. And then I can do this one with one of the white tops. Maybe even one of the black tops. And this one. Maybe even the white shirt. And then we have the denim pants, which go with literally every single top that I just showed. And I also have these ones. This one will go very well with the yellow sh short as well. I think the green one can go very well as well. So I think most of the tops that I'm bringing can go with most of the shorts or skirt that I'm bringing. So I think we can mix and match quite a bit over there. I think that's good. And then to cover up those shoulders, I'm bringing three blouses. I'm definitely bringing these two because... They're nice linen, lovely, and they can literally go on everything. So this white one, for example, can go also over this dress, this combination. Literally, this combination, this thing, it can go on top of everything. And then the yellow one, it can go definitely on top of this one. This is a cute one. It definitely can go on top of this. This one you can also definitely do with the white dress. So there's a lot of options. So I'm not sure if I need this one actually. I'm in doubt. Because the thing is, this one is really nice and thin and comfy. And it's really cute with the florals. But also, this one is basically the same as the white one but without the florals. Um, and the other white one is more, you can put it on more stuff. So I am also leaning towards wearing a short sleeved one because I don't have that. But then if I did bring this one, it basically only will go on top of the, the denim shorts. So I don't know about this one. It's really light, so I think I'll bring this one anyway. And then we just have the, the two dresses that I can wear multiple days. So I have like 11 outfits and then the cold weather outfit. And I'm going for 30 days, so that means that I have to wear each outfit three times. Basically, so I need to wash everything twice. I think I think I should be good. I think this is my wardrobe. This is gonna be my wardrobe. And we do need like some small accessories, but I'm not gonna bring that much. Just my basic jewelry. And then like I said, this jacket, which can go on basically everything. Then I have this fun little bag, which is actually a cooling bag, which is gonna be great for, you know, buying food at a 7-Eleven and wanting to bring it. It can go in here. I do need to bring some hats since I burn easily. So I'll bring my sunglasses and then I'll bring just a very generic white hat. And I'm thinking of maybe bringing one of my sun hats. I have one that's a tiny bit bigger. Just because, you know, shade. So I think that is everything that I need to bring in my wardrobe. Um, so we do have a few darker bits like this and the jumpsuit, but I feel like most of it, it's like nice and light and airy and cute and a tiny bit in the same color range. We have a lot of white going on. 
I think we'll be good. I hope I'll be able to survive the Japanese heat, <laughs> which I'm not used to. We'll see. Maybe I'm just too cold. Maybe. We'll also see. <laughs> anyway, do we want like a quick overview of everything that I'm bringing? We can do that. Just what I'm bringing and what brand it is. Let's go over that. So shoes, Nikes, Walk X from Aldi. <laughs> then we have one floral vintage blouse from Urfo. We have a yellow linen blouse or linen blend blouse from H&M. And then we have the same linen blend blouse in white. Then I have a Uniqlo X Daniel Arsham Pokemon collab t-shirt. That's gonna be nice when I'm going to the Pokemon Center, I guess. For colder weather, I have a secondhand sweater which doesn't have a brand on it. And we have a pair of lovely white leg patchwork jeans by Lindex. Then we have a white crop top by Bershka. Just a generic white singlet by Colors of the World. Then I'll be bringing this top which is also by Bershka. Then the same top in black by Bershka. Another black top by Primark. A nice green singlet by Hema. A nice pink knitted halter top by Pull and Bear. A cute green crop top by YesStyle. A yellow razorback top by Primark. A pair of cotton shorts by Primark. A pair of linen blend high-waisted shorts by H&M. A pair of denim shorts by CMA. A second-hand midi skirt that doesn't have a <laughs> brand name. A lovely long jumpsuit second-hand by TEMT. A summer dress that's actually a nightgown by Primark. And a lovely white summery dress by CNA. And then I'll bring my denim jacket by Stradivarius, which is just an oversized denim jacket. I think that will be great. And then I just have a basic Dunlop tennis hat. And I think that is mainly everything that I will bring. Nice. I hope I will look cute because I'll of course be taking a lot of pictures. So I want to look at least a little bit nice. This is going to be my Japan wardrobe. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from me. If you want to see even more from me, my blog, my socials and mainly my Instagram is all linked down below. So you can check it out as well. And that's going to be it for me today. And I thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Toodles!